Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be addressing a question that surprisingly I literally get like, besides what do you put in your hair, this is like the second most requested question that I get. And that is when I go to sleep, my hair gets flat, what do I do? Some of y'all really be thinking like something's wrong with your hair. Like some of y'all really be like, oh, does that mean I need to cut my hair off? Or some of y'all be like, does this mean I have to wash my hair all over again? I know somebody specifically was like, yeah, whenever my hair gets flat, I gotta wet my hair and then shake it out to get it back to get it back to where it belongs, but then it shrinks up and then it's frizzy, and I'm like, you don't have to do all of that. Like, stop. You do not have to do all of that. So let me show you what I do to fix this because I think you're overthinking this a little too much like it's literally simple it's like it's literally physics like simple science matter, matter of fact it's probably physical science technically I don't really know is physics and physical science the same thing I don't know but it's literally so simple so here I have a piece of paper it looks fine totally fine just a regular piece of paper now if I smush the paper it's gonna get smushed now when I unsmush it or remove the force that's smushing it, the paper is still going to be smushed. Like it's not just going to bounce back magically and not be smushed anymore. I literally just smushed it. So don't expect it to look exactly the same way it looks when you smushed it. Now if I take this piece of paper and I try to flatten it out and, and get it back straight, you know, well now it's looking like the paper again. And it doesn't look exactly like it because as you can see there are some wrinkles in it you know there's some 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 dents and some dings in it there's you know it's, it's it's a little bit wrinkly because why i just smushed it it's the same concept with their hair like if you lay on it you're smushing it actually let me just show you so look 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 this is what i'm trying to say if i lay on my hair okay so look my hair's out my hair's out here right if i lay on my hair Right, so I'm laying on my, I'm like going to sleep, I'm laying on my hair, you know, and um, I'm smushing it. My head is a force on this pillow that's smushing my hair. It's literally being smushed. Now when I wake up, oh well look, my hair is flat. It doesn't look the same. It doesn't look the same. Now, I, I'm not going to expect my hair just to, just to bounce back, but what, what can I do? I can I can I can pull it back out. I can fluff it back out. You might need to go at your roots and and pick it out a little bit, but I can fluff it back out until boom, wow, it looks back the way it was supposed to be. You know, and it, it obviously smushes a little bit more when whenever I'm whenever I'm asleep because I'm asleep for a long time, not for a couple seconds, but let me let me show you let me show you another example. So, I have a hat. If I put this hat on, Okay, I'm smushing my hair, smushing it down, smushing it down. My hair is smushed under this hat. It's not out like it would, ooh. <laughs> okay, I should not have did this as an example. I look crazy right now, but my hair is smushed. Now if I take the hat off, I can't expect my hair just to go back the way it was. So don't expect your hair to just go right back to the way it was when you wake up. But what can I do? Just like when I smushed the paper and then I unsmushed it and I like tried to flatten it back out to get it back looking as close as it could when it was originally done, I can do the same thing with my hair. So it's like this, right? I took the hat off or I took my hand off of the paper, remember that example? And then what I do? I pulled the paper back out and flattened it out to try to get it to look back the way it was. So I can do the same thing with my hair. Literally, I don't have to wet it. I don't have to, I can pu pull my hair back the way I want it to look. You know, pull it up in certain places, fluff it out in certain places, pull it, you know, and just move it back to where you want it to be. And boom, like literally just like that. This is literally what I do every morning. I go to sleep, my hair looks crazy, I look like a monster. And what, I do, what do I do? I fluff it out and shake it around a little bit, you know, and, and put it where I want it, you know, until boom. And of course it doesn't look 
egg exactly like it did when it was fresh, but the paper didn't either. The paper was still wrinkled a little bit. Well, your hair might get a little bit frizzy, you know, just like the paper got wrinkled, your hair might get a little frizzy or your, it might not look the same or it might get a little bigger because, you know, over the days, you know, it gets fluffier and fluffier and fluffier, but it's not going to look the same exact way that it looked when you just had the fresh piece of paper and when you just did a fresh wash and go. It's not going to, so don't expect it to be, but don't overthink it. It's literally as simple as, it's science. If I smush this paper, it's gonna be smushed. If I fluff it back out, well, now it's not smushed anymore. It doesn't look the exact same though, it still has some of the effects of what it went through. That pressure, same thing with your hair. You're putting pressure on your hair, you're smushing it down. What do you do? Look, you just pull it back out. Just put it back where it belongs. So this is what you can do in the mornings when your hair is smushed and when your hair is flat. Now if you have shorter hair, you might not have hair that you can actually like grab and place places. But what I used to do with my shorter hair is I used to do this. Rub it around and it'll get it'll raise up off of your head, you know, and then you can you can sort of still work with it and and sort of place it where you need it to be. Like it's really simple. Just don't overthink it. I know there's so much information out here, so many rules out here, so many this and that, and you gotta do it this way, you gotta do it that way. But I'm telling you, don't think about it too much. It's really not that complicated. It's it's simple. It's really simple. But that's all I have for this video. You know, if your hair gets flat, just put it back where it needs to be. Um, hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that put some things in perspective for you. And hopefully you're just you're not overthinking it anymore. Like you're probably watching this like, oh, well that makes sense. And if you are, I'm glad. But thanks so much for spending some time with me. And I will see you in the next video.